Okay, we're going to start. So what is he talking about? He's saying, he's going to explain that even though mitzvahs in general, which are done the Shoma Baguf, and in mitzvahs which in, are invested, the Pnimius HaKavona, nonetheless, as in therefore mitzvahs, effects all mitzvahs, just the act alone, the Yichud of Havayin Yalekim, which is the objective of, of everything. This is the general principle of the Torah, as the Zoya says. And he affects this in all of the Oilamas. All the six levels we, that, that were identified here in the Maimed. Nonetheless, the Avedah B'chol Ma'itcha is critical. As the Zoya says, that the Ebishter is not grasped in any Machshava or Asoga, thought, or grass, but he is grass, the roots to deliver with the desire or the love of the heart. So this is what he's going to explain. So he started to explain that there are three eifanim, first we identify three levels. There are three levels in general. When we talk about Eisen, and Tzern, So the three levels in that. We said Oisin Ritzen Shemokim is Dam Shach of Seviv in Mamale. Fine. But there's three, there's three components to that. What are the three components? Not three components, three levels. There's Mamale, there's Seviv, and then Seviv Hamiti, or the Etzimba Oira Seviv. We began to illustrate. So the lowest level, Mamala is Mamala, that's, that's Hagbole. That's clear. Now, the lowest level of Sevev, Sevev Kal Almin, which means it's transcendent, but it's still relative to all the worlds. It's not truly transcendent, not essentially. And therefore, that's the difference between Etzim of Sevev and Sevev. The Etzim of Sevev is, the Ebi says, is fundamentally removed from the whole notion of creation. Not above time. There's no notion of time or anything whatsoever. So he started to explain, because of these three levels, three pchines, there are three different kinds of amshachas. The first is, as Mamale emerges from Sevev. So Sevev is the cause, but Sevev is not revealed in the Mamale. What's the analogy? He gave two analogies in the Nefesh Adam. Seichel from Ratzin, and then later, the next marshal was Midas from Seichel. So the Ratzin is what causes the Seichel. A person doesn't want to understand, nothing happens, doesn't want anything, then nothing happens. Desire, Ratzin, must lie at the root of everything. For then the person himself is not engaged at all and will not be successful, clearly. So it's Ratzin on some level. That is the root of everything. But it's not that the Ratzin becomes the Seichel. I want to learn. That want becomes the Seichel. The Ratzin is the Ratzin Poshet that contains all kinds of desires and wants. What's common to all of them is I want to express myself. Ratzin is about expressing myself, being successful, as opposed to Tainug is about the pleasure of being, not to the pleasure of, of performance or having achieved or even expressed. So, the Ratzin, of course, is what motivates the Seichel, but the Ratzin doesn't become the Seichel. Seichel is a different world. The Ratzin business, our limit received, has done its job, and now the person is uh, engaged in one of, uh, using his Kreichas Pneumium, animated by the Ratzin, but from a distance, and he's engaged in the world of intellect, or whatever it is that he's engaged in. Likewise, Seichel, as he says, Ratzin and Seichel are opposites. Seichel is a defined, uniquely and highly defined uh, characteristic of the Nefesh, faculty of the nefesh, and the Ratzin is Poshut. They're opposites. It's Mamash we're talking about. Save of Mamale, that's the Moshe. Kutshabrichur Shchinte. So the one kind of Amshachi is where Kutshabrichur produces Shchinte, but it's not really revealed there. And the second Moshe is the Moshe of Seichel and Midas. The Midas are born, of course, from the idea, but once the Das has kicked in, and the self 
one becomes subjective about it, it's a whole different world. When you were thinking about intellectually, it was cool and dispassionate, certainly at the level of Chachma and Bina, it's only a das that things start to warm. And uh, you couldn't entertain that opposite idea, et cetera, et cetera. But once it hits the heart, that's completely subjective, the opposite world of Seichel, and yet Seichel produced it, but the Seichel itself does not mute, uh, transmute, that's what I'm looking for, yeah? Morph. The Seichel itself doesn't morph into the mid, and the Rotsen doesn't morph into the Seichel. It produces it. It's like Ilava Olu. Now, a second level, the Mailim is there, right in the middle. No, so the parallel the Mailim is. The parallel the Mailim is that, all, that there's the Amshacha of the Zah, the uh, Zah from Binda, and all of the levels we described before, they can all happen in such a way that, like the Kav is drawn from Eirin Zah, the Eirin Zah is not drawn into the Kav, the Eirin Zah produces the Kav. How does it produce, produce that? There's the Eibish, what is, what is it in Eirin Zah? As the Eibish is entertaining the notion of Gvul. That entertainment, Shashir Ba'atzma, he literally he estimated it. He entertained it, considered it. In that consideration, the Eir HaKav is born. But the Eir HaBligvul remains Eir HaBligvul. So that's all the first Eifa. That's the first, first way. We're clear? Isn't the Eir HaKav... I, I really have to speak up loud today. Isn't the Eir HaKav, um, like it's, it's an emanation of Eir from Eir and Soy. It's not Ligvul, but, it, but it's still a, a, an expression, or, or it is Eir and Soy, the Eir itself of the Kav. The calf, yeah. but it's just analogous to the seichel produced by the rotzen. The rotzen is not limited to this at all. This expression, so the rotzen isn't in, encapsulated in the seichel. It is the bligvulness of the bligvul encapsulated in this calf at all. It could be another calf, no calf. The whole thing could be radically, it's radically the, different. The, the bligvul, the bligvul property of the iron is not there, but it, it is. But it's what? The believable property of the iron safe is not in the cup, but the iron safe itself is, which is soy. And if I understand correctly, I didn't hear the bat, but iron itself the is. The iron safe itself is, is, makes up the cup. The cup is the cup. Of, so it's like Ilavalu, it produces it, but it's not, it's not, it's more like it produces it, but it is not invested fully in it. It's not fully expressed in it. Yeah, it's Ilovol, Seichel and Midas. Midas will be produced by Seichel. But the Emesis Midas have their own deep Shredish in the Nefesh. Seichel just unlocks it. It's not another component to this. But it's clear and obvious that the Oyen itself does not, in its glory, can't be, can't be invested in the Kav. It'll implode it. If the Seichel now comes to, to bear on the Midas, then you, and you start ruminating and thinking in the world of Seichel, your emotion is gone. If we're looking at the cub, then what's the mahus of the cub? The pneumius. What's, what's, the, what's the substance of it? It's the same substance. That's, is it the same substance as, as the earth? That's but not in a revealed way. Okay. Not in a revealed way. It's about the conscious, revealed experience. What's the midas and the seichel? It's all the etzim and nefesh. I mean, the etzim is the etzim of everything. That's true. That's be'etzim. We're not speaking be'etzim. We're speaking what is consciously expressed, what is appreciated, what is revealed. On well, the words of Chassidus, what's nirgish, what's felt. You're looking at the pratim of the person, you don't see the etzem of the person. You see the prat, the prat. So, the, yeah, let's say all the mighty is there. We're two thirds way down. That the Sevev is revealed. I know Shaira Sevev Atzma Mizgal. Shaira Sevev and all of its, its uncompromised uh, infin, infinitude is revealed. What's a parallel to the Nefesh? Well, when a person is in the state of the, the rotten itself. The problem with that is, with that Amshoche is, it overwhelms completely the Keli. And the Keli can only relate to it in a Makiv way. 
It can't be nimshach bepnimis because the keli is gvul, and the rotsin relatively is bli gvul, as he illustrates. Amnam gila seiv, gila seiv. When seiv of classic, not etzim, classic seiv is revealed infinite. After a seiv of asim is galut, true the seiv is revealed because malkim eifin is galus and bchines makif. It cannot be apprehended by the mekablim in the pnimis dika way. When the rotsin is fired up, then the lower koiches like acknowledge it, but they can't experience it. It's boundless. And the illustration is Daniel. They didn't see the Malach. But they, they, a great trembling. Why? Because if they saw it, but they didn't filter down to their conscious faculties of what, what is this? Their muzzle saw it. So the muzzle of the neshama is in a state of revelation. It's stirred. It sees this vision. And therefore they had no idea of what this is. All they had was a trembling. That's not the kavanah. The kavanah is not to reveal seviv in a makiv dika way. That's Pelish said this. It's a gilui of pnimis, but it's a makiv dika way. It's an avodah story. There is some understanding, but not the pnimis dika way. It's not like there's no connection. It's a connection. Charada gadol on the contrary, the great trembling. They're very moved by it, but it's not the pnimis because it's not doesn't permeate seichel and can't because this is a likus that's hidden in seichel. Level of seiv of kalalmi. The Altrebe was okay, going to eat this kit. Altrebe was mamshich from Pnimi Satik. That's the Pnimi Sevrat Law. That's the Lashon of the Rebbe Rashad. That's now the third level. The Ma'ilim is Yogi La Seve, Bechines Pnimi is. But then there's a third level, which is an impossible level, that, this, that the Seve, the transcendent, is consciously apprehended and felt by Pnimi is. Seichel feels the Ma'ilim and Aseich. But Seichel embraces it. Not that Seichel is overwhelmed by it, embraces it. She says, But Daniel asked me, himself said, I saw. And he didn't tremble. And he saw it. Because the Pnimius. So he continues, In order for this transcendent to be revealed, the Pnimius, so it needs a third level, the Etzim, which is both. Equally beyond both and present in both Seviv and Mamale. So Mitzad Etzim Era Seviv Dafki. Mitzad as Seviv Kemisha Begede Shachas Loilamas. Mitzad Seviv, and it's related to Oilamas, classic beyond, infinite, not finite. I give the Prince Maki Bilvat. So that Gilo only is experienced in a, in, a, in a way not the Pnimis, because it's Maki, it is infinite. Infinite doesn't fit into finite. But the Edson, which is the true bleak wool, and not limited even to bleak wool, and can be apprehended and experienced and grasped by gvul, by seichel, and that's Bechal Meitz is going to say. That's the Edson. That's the third level. In other words, Levavchem, Malakalalme, Nafshecha, Seyav Kalalme. And this is the Mitzah, the Etzim connection to the Likus, which happens as a, through revealing, not merely the action, but the Etzim and Nefesh in our action. So this is the Hebrew of Makiv and Pnim. This reminds me, it's worth repeating. I mentioned this, uh, some of you, only one of you are here, I think, Aaron. Uh, uh, at the Shleishim of, of Rabbi Yerl held in Barrow Park. So the, the speakers were his Talmidim, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years. From Satmah, Vizhnitz, Bells, whatever, many from Satmah. One of them who spoke, yet he actually was the MC, was the Baron Gans. The Baron Gans, I think, Chaim is Mashpia, Morristown. Huh? Yeah, I mean, he's being Machanis. Yeah. Huh? 
He's a machanach. He lives in Muncie, works in Morristown. His kids are on shlichus. Yes, yeah, kids are on shlichus and they're one of his sons. Yoyo. Yeah, Yoyo is on shlichus. He's named after the Satmar Rebbe, of course, in Florida. Beautiful mishpach. Akoponim, so he gets up and he says, uh, he says uh, he, amongst the things that he said, he said as follows. That um, one of the shiurim by the Biel, so he's sitting next to you. Ingeman has been attending regularly, and Ingeman turns to him and says, "That's it. He's has to part ways with Chabad. Can't go. He can't. Kedesh mitalton. It's not our derech. So what's what's not our derech? Aaron the guns asin. He says in Perek Dalit and Tanya, the Alter Rebbe says that the levushim of the nefesh are higher than the nefesh. The levushim of Torah mitzvahs." And the only way to connect to the Abish is to, to impale Mamish, Torah Mitzvahs. But all of the Ave and Yid and all the preparation in the world, you don't connect to the Abish to himself. So he said, by us, he's quoting from the, from the Chayz of Lublin, the famous Chayz of Lublin, who was the one that brought Chassidus to Poland. And like the Alter Rebbe, suffered greatly from, uh, from the opposition from the Misnagdim, he wrote three svarim. In one of his svarim, one is called Zikar and Ois, and one is called Ois Zikar. And I forgot which one this appears in. He was a, a, a young in the Alter Rebbe, a contemporary of the Alter Rebbe. He was by the Magid. So in one of the svarim there, it says that, that the achonah, the preparation of a yid to do the mitzvah is higher than the mitzvah. So here the Alter in Perek Dal and Tanya says that if you don't do the mitzvah, you don't connect. Ronnie, good morning. Ronnie's calling in from, from Jerusalem, from Eretz Yisro. <laughs> it looks good. Ronnie, I get there on Shabbos. I get there on Shabbos. I get there on Shabbos. Hi, Debbie. Okay. But the, but the tail end of the party. Sorry to interrupt. Sorry to Join interrupt. Us. I uh, hope you have a tequila and a lachaim, a nice. Uh, no, tequila. Yeah, we're about. We're, we we huh? we will. We're, we're gonna we're gonna have uh, hamburger, goose liver, and uh, tequila soon. Five minutes. Sounds good. So we're just finishing this story until another story. So this chassid, this he's a he's a no he was a he was a belz. I don't know what he was. So he says he can't continue with chabad because in our tradition in the Polish chassidus. There it says that the achon, the preparation of a Jew to the mitzvah is higher than the mitzvah. Now, Rebbe and Tanya says, if you don't do the mitzvah, then with all your preparation, you remain essentially grounded. So I so said, thank you very much. That's, that's my uh, association with Chabad ends here. I'm, I'm faithful to my Mesoira, to his history. So the Baron Gan says, I said to him, Aaron Gan tells a story, is a, is a Satmer who became... A, to Rabbi Yael Chabad, still with the full garments, etc. He lives in Monsi, he lives in Morristown, is a big educator. So the Baron says to this chassid, he says, tell me, he says, uh, your preparation for the mitzvah, your love and fear of God, you're, you're holding by something? He says, not really. He says, you think in 10 years you will? He's thinking about all the people he knows 10 years older than him. So, I don't think so. 20 years when you're 50, 60, 70, can hold by love of God and all of God and, the, and all these hachonas that the Chayza speaks of? He says, probably not. He says, so, what, so why are you hanging on to this? In other words, embrace what the Alter Rebbe says in Tanya, that you do the mitzvah, you're connected to the essence of Hashem, irrespective of what, what the preparation or love or awe of God you have. The action is paramount. He, he, then he asked Rabbi Yol. So Rabbi Yol answered very in a word, but it seemed that this is what his intent is. We're learning here now in the Maimir. This is really one of the biggest chedushim of our Rebbe, of our Rebbe, what I'm going to tell you now. Namely, the Rebbe in Tanya says, very, very clearly quoting the Eitz Chaim, and the Shoma Atzma in the Tikkun, the Shoma doesn't have to be fixed. So why did I come down to the world, elevate the sparks, fix the goof, the Nevesheh Bahamis? It's all about carrying out the divine mission. The, the, the Rebbe's big chiddush before Mashiach comes is that the kavan is the neshama. And as you hear endlessly here, 
mitzvahs, Torah and mitzvahs don't define us, they reveal us. Huge chidush based on, on of course, statement in Chazal, that, that in Neshama, Hashavtim Shalitzel Kodma Lachal Dover, that the thought of, the, of Neshama precedes everything. So mitzvahs reveal who we are. They don't create the connection, they reveal the essential connection. Hashem wants that essential connection that we have from the essence of our soul to pervade the consciousness of the soul, the body, and suffuse the world with it. The world be suffused with the essential bond of the Yid and the Abishta. That's the intent. That's the home. The whole world celebrates in this home, which God shares himself with his people and all are invited to celebrate. That in a nutshell is the whole intent as articulated by the Rebbe, and it's a big chiddush of our generation. So here we've reconciled the two and two, but I'm saying over here. What's the preparation of the mitzvah? The Yid, show, he's here, he's ready to do it. That's higher than the mitzvah. His neshama is rooted in the essence of Hashem inseparably. Now the mitzvah is going to reveal that. The mitzvah is going to reveal this essential bond. That's the only way he can reveal it. Not with feelings. The, the terusa, the lib, we're going to learn in the maimer. We'll see with, with, where that fits in. But essentially it's through the action with Mesiris Nefesh that reveal, of the mitzvah that reveals the essence of the neshama. So there's no contradiction at all. He was speaking, you know, just says the Indian. And it's explained, they're reconciled in Chassidus Chabad. Okay, we will continue, Mitzvah Hashem, the Maimer on Monday.